Yes, yes, guys, this is Nilly. Last bring you back another gameplay for today. And this time, guys, I am using the M1 irons again. And not the Outlaw. I've finally unlocked a different variant. And I have unlocked the Sundown. And I must say, when this popped up in a random supply crate, I was very happy indeed. Not only is this a strikingly beautiful weapon, I must admit, I do think it is beautiful. Lovely and orange, and you've got the beautiful red and black barrel, so it stands out quite a lot. It is a lovely, lovely looking weapon. But also comes with the stats as well, which suits me down to the ground, where you add the range is up to six. So it goes up by two, the handler does go down by one, so does the mobility, but... Obviously, with these pistols, you're quite fast anyway. Do you know what I mean? You can get about the map really, really quickly. You can get up onto people quite quickly anyway. So, you're not really noticing it that much at all. It's not going to really harm you in any way. Now, with my attachments in this particular gameplay, I've only got long barrel on. Now, I have just pressed each, and for some reason, they've got rid of all my attachments for this particular weapon. But not for anything else. I'm not really too sure whether it's because it's a special or whatnot else. So I managed to have a quick go with it. I've got long barrel on. I would be opting out for a couple of more. Maybe like laser sight with it. And also um, quick draw as well. Which is going to help with those close quarter situations. So you can just turn on people as quickly as possible. But with this gun, I mean, like, because the range does go up to six. Now, once you stick that long barrel on, it goes up to eight. Now, that's the same range as an ASM-1 magnitude. So, that, that's pretty good in itself. Obviously, you haven't got the bullets. But if you're on point and you put people down, you can. I mean, you can put people down at a good range with this weapon, I must say. Now, not in this particular gameplay, but when I was playing Horizon. Now, literally, I was at the top of one corner... And I managed to shoot so early. Yeah, it did take all six bullets to put that guy down. But he literally died from nearly the other side of the map. So it is a very, very good weapon. As long as you get all your points and all your markers straight on it, you can be laughing with this gun. Now, with the class setup is itself. Now, like I say, I've only got quick draw on. Now, I would be rolling with the wild card with this one. You want to try and get as many attachments on this gun as possible it is quite crazy though for a gun like this that you can still chuck all these attachments on like quick draw and whatnot else but it, it does work well so you want all three on there as much as you can then also you ought to be using lightweight now lightweight is going to help with your mobility that you just lost anyway but you're going to be really mobile you're going to be able to get up on the map you want to get up in amongst people and stuff you want to rush them as much as you possibly can it suits my style of play when I'm rushing people. And as you can see, I'm jumping into these guys here. It's a little bit of a mad one, this one. I'm not really too sure how I didn't die. It just went a little bit wrong. It took me about 15 nights just to kill someone, but there you go. But I did get a little bit lucky with that one. But as you can see, the gun in itself is still putting everyone down. So I've got low profile on as well. That's going to help, you know, keep yourself off the UAV. So... You know, you can get up on people quickly so they don't know which way you're coming from. With Also, you got to have fast hands on. I would say, obviously, as we know, you've only got six bullets. So, guys, you're not going to be wanting to engage in multiple enemies. You know, you're going to be wanting to get those few shots off. And as soon as you put someone down, you ought to be able to move away. You ought to get out of there. And with fast hands, you'll be able to reload as quickly as you possibly can. Because once you've got, like, three shots off or something like that, you, you know... You're at a disadvantage because you miss a shot or something like that and you're pretty much done for so get on those first shots off put those people down move away get your fast hands on get those bullets back in the chamber just like that and then move on to the next guy with the third set of perks i basically uh, been using blast suppressor obviously keeps you off the map get on to them closely don't know where you're coming from toughness i think is a bit of a must with this one with toughness on this, you're not going to flinch as much. So, you know, with these kind of weapons, you're going to be wanting to put people down as much as you can. Now, kill streaks for me is UAV uh, and system hack, especially. They're the most important kind of ones for me. Is that you want to know where people are and system hack's going to blind them. I oh, have put um, Warbird on as well, but you know, just for a bit of fun. I didn't have Defender on this one. That's why you're going to see me not actually use the kill streak in this. 
because I just prestige. I couldn't put on defender, and I was having more fun with the weapon as itself, not worrying about warbird. Because let's be honest, you shoot it and it just constantly overheats, so it's a, it's a bit boring. But overall, in view of this weapon, for me. I'm finding this the best variant so far, definitely, by a long way. I know I understand, like, the akimbos are meant to be, like, you know, a melting machine and whatnot else, but I do prefer to be able to aim down a sight, so I do like to get on point a lot more. I don't fancy trying to run around with akimbos. I will be giving it a go as soon as I unlock the un gunslinger and that, but for me, I do like to aim down a sight. And to have some extra range on your weapon as well, especially like a pistol like this. Now, once you've got a few attachments on this weapon, it's going to be seriously d deadly. And I mean, like it can compete. Urban, yes, it is a smaller map. So, you know, you can get in and amongst people. It's a bit in more enclosed. So, you know, things like Sideshow and whatnot else, obviously, you're going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. But, you know, it can still compete. And it is a great gun. Like I said before, it's a strikingly beautiful weapon. But anyway, guys, that's my review on this one. But just let me know if you've unlocked the, this variant of the gun and whether you really, really enjoy it. Or if you haven't unlocked this one, which ones have you been using? And which one would you say is the fair of it? I mean, you, the Akimbo guy, you really, really enjoying those ones? It'd be good to hear. So leave that in the comments section below. Or you can contact me on Twitter. And uh, we'll have a little discussion. And like I say, a lot of people have got different views on this weapon a lot of people prefer to use the akimbos but it's not really for me anyway you can see coming up on the score now we just sneaked it 100 for 98 so it wasn't too bad i did go um all right in this gameplay it wasn't my best one i'm not the best with a pistol to be honest yeah but they are a lot of fun but as you can see coming up on the screen now is my subscribe button. If you can please hit that, that'd be fantastic. If you can like this video, I'd be even better support my channel. Anyway, guys, this is going to be nearly last, and I'll catch you later.